Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio and in today's episode we will take on Hartford following our 0-0 tie against Boise. Uh, we have tied, I'm pretty sure, the last four games we have played. But we're in a secure enough position in the standings that I think it is time for us to play some of our younger players. Bowers... We've been running Bowers ragged, so we are going to be bringing in uh, Yancey to play this match. Uh, I also believe we're going to take Greer and put him in for Olsen. I want to keep Calvert in because, who knows, we might be able to pull off something in this game against Hartford, and Calvert gives us a good chance to do that. Olsen can take the game off. Thornton will also be joining in on there and is going to take the place of Shatter, which does significantly weaken our defense, but and we gotta get these young players experience. Clay is the one that's a little hard to say. He's got good defense uh, and then passing control and accuracy. He could be pretty much any position. These ones I have a good idea. Yancey's gonna be mid Greer's going to be a forward. Thornton's going to be defense. Clay, honestly, he could he could be goalie. He could be defense. He could be mid. I don't think forward makes sense, but there's a lot of options for Clay, and I just don't know exactly where to put him. Uh, but for and I'm going to try and keep Thacker in. I know he's decently tired at the moment, but. He's 21. He's one of the young players we got to develop here. So, if anyone's coming out, we'll, we'll see how things are going at halftime, and then we can potentially put in a player like Clay. Anyways, here is Hartford. Hartford uh, has a decent team here. Strong in the midfield. Um... It is, I really do believe that Calvert's our best shot on the attack here. So Thacker will probably be going to Calvert first. O'Donnell. I'm going to change O'Donnell to a central forward for this match. Might even put him over there. Uh, I don't know. I think we'll just go up with what we've got. Manchester versus Hartford. We have kind of given up moving into those glory positions, but I hope we can still offer some entertaining games from here on out. As Thacker passes to Calvert to begin with. Now Calvert could go immediately for the shot. Doesn't make sense though. Calvert's just going to go and try and break in. And he gets by main. And it's just Calvert on goal. And Calvert's shot is saved. Calvert hasn't had a lot of luck on those shots recently. We don't have Olsen now, so O'Donnell has to be our main header. And this is one of the reasons I chose the center forward thing. We could also, we could also bring up Doss and do that, but I don't want to weaken our defense too much if things don't go well. So, Donald will be defended by Dalton here. Forsyth will go after Calvert, and Hitchcock will go there. One of the things about this defense is they've got really low control. So, we can pretty easily keep position, although O'Donnell didn't do that. And here we go, O'Donnell with the header, and that is a great start. Manchester scoring one to nothing. Forget all that waiting until the end of the game to score. We're here for it now. Hammonds passes to Lombardi. Lombardi tries to dribble past Doss and does. And Lombardi goes for the shot and Hodges. I mean, Scruggs not getting that makes sense, but Hodges should have had that. It was an eight roll, and he can get up to 51, and he rolled a seven. Come on, Hodges. You're better than that. Calvert gets by main again. 
And can he get by Bryson this time? Not on that shot, but it goes out of bounds and we have another corner. Will it work out as well as last time? O'Donnell is pretty formidable with the center forward ability here. And again, this defense has severe lack of control, but O'Donnell keeps losing that middle battle, but gets the front post, and everyone missed that. Just everyone missed all that. Calvert does take it away from Maine, but can he keep it now? Maine's motivated. And Maine fouls Calvert just outside the box. Oh, uh, Calvert got injured, and, well, it's a one-day injury, so thankfully he's not going to be too left out. So the question is, do we bring in Olsen, or do we bring in Fry? I think in this case we're going to bring in Olsen. Uh, and we'll change O'Donnell. Uh, well, he'd have to go past some harder defenders. I think O'Donnell will stay as a center forward, but that's unfortunate because Calvert was our best shot at going here. Okay, they are going all in on the wall here. I guess O'Donnell will take that, and what else? You could go Olsen there, Roman there. I, I don't entirely know what to do with that. Could go Roman. We're going to go to Olsen, though. Doesn't make sense to go after that wall. And we'll just take a chance. And it's saved. Got by Dalton, but couldn't get by Bryson with that shot. Bryson passes to Lombardi. They've brought up their entire attack here. They've got no one back here now. Of course, we don't have uh, great defenders on this front, so we are going to... Yeah, it, I'm not even sure if it's worth going for this tackle, but maybe get some more experience for Greer. Greer. Lombardi passes to Fitch. Fitch moves out and moves back. Not much you could do about that. Uh, we're going to bring up Tompkins to try and take this away from Fitch. And the slide tackle works out, and now he's going to hold this. I'm imagining they're going to bring over Lombardi once Avery... Oh, no. Avery and Hammonds will press, so Fitch can go for the tackle, and Tompkins keeps it. Shockley comes over, and Shockley goes for the tackle, and that does not work either. Okay, so the pass is going to go to Roman. Roman now is going to pass to Olsen in the box. And Olsen can go for the cannon shot. And that's what he's going to do, and it's saved straight to Dalton, unfortunately. We've had some good chances here. And we got one of them passed, and then got unlucky again on defense. <laughs> Fitch goes for the shot, and Thornton kicks it away. Thornton is going to get the ball, uh, and is going to pass to Yancey. And Yancey could pass to Roman, can't really get a pass to O'Donnell, so he's just going to hold this one. And they're going to bring over Hammonds, for whatever reason. Avery presses. Ham oh, the center midfield there, yep. And then it is taken away easily by Shockley. And Shockley... won't even try anything. Tompkins will switch positions. 
Go for the slide tackle. Doesn't work. And yeah, we're we're in a little bit of a bind here. Okay, so what would they do on their turn? I'm gonna move Thornton back just to try and prevent any. In there, so Shockley passes to Fitch. And so it'll be Fitch who tries to untie this before half. And Scruggs kicks it away. And that will end the half. Manchester and Hartford are tied one to one. I didn't even realize they were a man down. I can't believe that. I didn't notice at all. So Yancey will start off with the ball in those. And move up Roman. So that if Olsen moves in, we can pass Yancey to Roman, then to Olsen for the shot. Anyways, is there something else we need to do? I wanted to get Clay in, but I'm not sure there's a spot I want to put him again. Anyways, we will keep going here. Hartford starts with the ball. Hammonds passes to Lombardi. Come on, Das, you gotta hold this time. And Doss does, gets that in. Doss passes to Yancey. Yancey is going to try the lofted pass to Olsen. It doesn't quite get there, but Olsen will get it right in front of goal. It's unlikely that he's going to keep it, but he's there. And that was closer than it should have been. Bryson barely takes it away from Olsen. Passes to Forsyth. Forsyth moves off to the side. And is just going to hold this one. Olsen comes up. We're going to get a press out of Greer to give Olsen a better chance to take it away. And Olsen just fouls him. Shockley passes to Hammonds. Hammonds passes to MacArthur. MacArthur goes for the shot and scores past Tompkins and Hodges. Hodges, what are you doing? Every time our offense actually gives us stuff, it doesn't work out. Olsen will move in towards Forsyth and is just going to go for the precision shot and it's intercepted by Forsyth. Nothing. After that initial cross in, nothing has worked out for us. Greer can't intercept the pass, but he is motivated now. And Fitch gets the ball. Thacker comes over and manages to take it away, surprisingly. And then passes it past Hammonds to get it to O'Donnell. O'Donnell has Hitchcock move past him and then take it away. What will Hitchcock do with it now? Passes to Shockley. We're going to get a press out of Roman. Thacker once again manages to take it away. We could do lofted pass there. Instead, he's just going to pass to Greer, even though Greer's not really going to hang on to this one. Hitchcock comes over. Hitchcock easily takes it away. And then passes to Fitch. Donald comes up. Thacker is going to press, and if we get a break, Clay's going to come in for Thacker. And O'Donnell goes for the tackle, manages to take it away. Can we somehow hang on to this ball and get a chance? Yeah, it's not going to happen, not with the pressing from multiple center midfielders. Shockley takes it. And 
then chocolate just moves far, far away. Thacker will come over since he does the automatic press, and I guess we'll move Greer around. What is their plan now? MacArthur moves off to the side. The pass gets to him. He's going to go for the shot. And Scruggs easily intercepts that. So, here is our chance to tie the game. Scruggs needs to pass it to Yancey. That will keep her actions. Yancey passes to Roman. That will get us down to two actions. Roman passes to Olsen. After maybe false kicking to get Forsyth out of there. And then Olsen goes for the shot. But it all comes down to this long pass. And it is intercepted by Lombardi. And that will end it. There's not, nothing else we can really do on that. Thornton will press. Doss will take it away. And that ends the game. Hartford manages to come up on top 2-1 to one despite being a man down for most of the game. We had, we had six shots, and some of them were really close. But we couldn't pull it off, unfortunately. Men of the match, Thacker, O'Donnell, and Calvert. I, I think if Calvert hadn't gotten injured, we had a really good chance to win this game. But alas, things don't work out that way. We got some more experience for Thornton and Yancey and Greer. Although they're still a long ways away from specialization upgrades. Well, no, Thornton's getting there. Anyways, so we lost 2-1, to one. Topeka beat Augusta 3-0, to nothing. Louisville crushed Billings 5 to nothing. Anchorage and Baton Rouge tied 4-4, four to four. Little Rock beat Boise 3-1, to one. and Newark beat Montpelier 2-1, to one. and that means our place did not change. We are still in 7th, we have a goal differential of 0, with the 4th fewest goals uh, scored in the league, since we are not an offensive powerhouse but we are tied for the least goals given up with Newark. We got a pretty good team. No, nothing in the goals and assists. For tackles, you've got Bowers, Scherer, and Scruggs all in the top 10, and Hodges, of course, for goalkeeping. Calvert has recovered. Okay, and our next game will be against Newark. So if we want to keep being the team with the least amount of goals allowed in the league we gotta we gotta beat Newark part of the part of our motivation anyways I hope you enjoyed the episode we had a little more action towards the beginning and then it just petered out towards the end but we're we're really coming into that last stretch for the season we've got three games left before we get into season four, when my ambitions are not just the glory positions, I want promotion. We're looking at the second league next year. And at the moment, it looks like Concord, San Jose, and Madison are going to be coming down to join us in the third league. And Jackson, Columbia, and Montgomery, I, I mean, I don't think there's actually a chance that this changes. I think, yeah, these three are the ones coming up. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did. Comment below any thoughts. And subscribe for more football tactics and glory and other video game content. I hope you have a great day and happy gaming.